One day after a Russian strike on a maternity hospital in Mariupol sparked widespread condemnation, Vice President Kamala Harris offered U.S. support for an international war crimes investigation into the Russian invasion of Ukraine. After meeting Polish leaders in Warsaw Thursday, Harris said Russia was committing atrocities. We have been witnessing for weeks, and certainly just in the last 24 hours, atrocities of unimaginable proportion. Vice President Harris cited examples including the maternity hospital bombing on Wednesday and scenes of bloodied pregnant women being evacuated. Russia, which calls its actions a special military operation, on Thursday shifted its stance over the bombing with a mix of statements that veered between strong denials and a call by the Kremlin to establish clear facts. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, also in Poland Thursday, warned Russian President Vladimir Putin that Russia's actions would be met with the severest of responses. Putin's callous disregard for human life is absolutely unacceptable. It is very clear that he has made the choice to specifically target civilians now. The world will continue to make Putin accountable for his war crimes. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Russia of carrying out genocide. The European Union called the bombing inhumane, cruel and tragic. And U.S. Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines said that U.S. intelligence officers were documenting Russia's actions in order to hold Moscow and those responsible for assaults on civilians to account. Russian forces are at the very least operating with reckless disregard for the safety of civilians as Russian units launch artillery and airstrikes into urban areas as they have done in cities across Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden said Thursday that more shipments of defensive equipment food, water and medicine were en route to Ukraine. We're coordinating deliveries of anti-armor and anti-air capabilities with a wide range of our allies and, uh, and partners. According to the UN, more than 2.3 million people have fled Ukraine since the invasion began.